Hey everyone, it's Albie. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be going over another review slash sort of an author um, spotlight is what I wanted to call it. So I feel like a lot of people have the misconception that historical romances aren't spicy. Um, as we know, or as we may be beginning to know if we're new to romance, uh, romance reading, uh, spice is an individual scale, you know, no spice and uh, reading stimulation is the same for each person. But I thought my level of spice more goes by what's going on in the story. You know, if it's a zero spice or a one, it's either a closed door, nothing, or very simple description that's not even explicit at all of what's going on in the bedroom or wherever adult things may happen. And so a lot of people, I think, feel that if it's historical, Maybe they have a different perception because of Bridgerton, but I feel like people think with historicals that it's just not spicy. It's, you know, what your grandmother read, what your great grandmother read, what your aunt read. And, you know, there are a lot of historicals that are closed door. Um, if you go to like a Christian bookstore, gift shop, you know, you're going to see a lot of historicals. They'll have really similar covers. If you live in England, it looks just like your covers <laughs> for some reason. But, you know, those are closed door and that's fine. Everyone should have what they want to read with their romances. It's, it's for everyone. You know, it's like mysteries or whatever. So I found an author that is very, very spicy and writes very good historicals. So I don't know if I put her like uh, well with that, but let's. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. So I was going to say she's sort of like a mix between your favorite historical romance author with the spice level of Katie Robert. So if you're looking for historicals because you just love historicals like me, but you're wanting something a little extra, a little extra spicy, a little extra zest in your step in your in your pages, um, I think you would really enjoy Nicola Davidson. So she has a good um, backlist so far of books that range from, she has a new one that just came out that's a paranormal shifter uh, historical romance. I believe it's called Wolf Duke or Duke Wolf. I'll have a picture of it um, in the video. And a few other series that I've really enjoyed. Some of them are been evil. This one I'm going to talk about today is a Regency one. So the book I'll talk about today is A Rake, His Patron, and Their Muse by Nicola Davidson. So let me give a little brief synopsis or what's on the back. So London playwright and notorious rake Lennox Townsend is renowned for his bold melodrama and bolder pleasures. <laughs> when he loses interest in both his shy yet devoted patron Lord Jonathan Grant escorts him to a country boarding house managed by repressed widow Ms. Viola Prescott or Mrs. Viola Prescott. The trio soon surrender to sizzling and forbidden passion made sweeter as each share their deepest secrets and find acceptance in their true self. Yet, cold reality is ever ready to intrude, and they know happiness is fleeting. Or is it? So, this is described as an MMF erotic Regency romance. It contains explicit scenes, strong language, and enthusiastically consensual BD. I don't know if I can say the rest if I get flagged or whatever, or flogged. Maybe that's a clue. <laughs> but um, this was part of, this was in the anthology, Rake, I'd Like to Cuddle. If you remember that anthology that came out a couple years ago, I think Joanna Shoup was in it and a few others. So this story was in that. And in my, I think in my review, I put it as a MFM. So I guess MMF is when the two men are together with the female rather than the two men are sharing the female so there's a little bit of play between the two gentlemen as well as with well they're all together but you know what I mean so um I'm sort of new to that so I wanted to share it if case y'all weren't sure either so what I really enjoyed about the story is it was a spicy historical romance it was you know it's just a fun read it's it's fluffy in the sense of it does what it's meant to do sort of thing. You know, we're not groundbreaking stuff. We're just having a fun time with fun characters. I thought the story was really good. I liked the characters a lot. I loved when novellas actually give depth to the characters. And uh, there's something with 
uh, you can enjoy with them. Sometimes with novellas, the plot or the spice is really what's drawing the characters. In this one, I felt like I was knowing the characters. I knew what their hopes and dreams were. I knew what their <laughs> pleasures were, so to speak. But um, I got to know them. I got to really like I understood them. And when I understand a character and I enjoy what they're <laughs> enjoy what they're experiencing in life and other things, um, I feel like I enjoy more explicit scenes. As a reader, because I feel like I know the characters, not like a strange. I'm like, what am I doing here? You know, sort of thing. <laughs> when I like the characters, I feel like I can relate to them in some sort of sense or humanize them. It makes this reading for me more enjoyable. So I thought I'd sort of do this as an author highlight. A lot of people I haven't seen on YouTube have talked about her. I think I did another review by her. Um, or she was in a wrap up, but I've read a few books by her and I've really liked this. So this is book one in the Regency Menage. And I do have book two. I thought I've read it, but apparently on my Kindle, I don't have it. But it's like a duke, a lady and their valet or something like that. And that's book two. And according to Miss Davidson's um, Instagram, book three is being currently written, I believe. Um, but yeah, so I've read her medieval ones. That one, I didn't love as much just because she does write a historical romance that is erotic. So, you know, sometimes uh, it really is more of a novel rather than a spicy story, which I really do enjoy. I like a good balance between story and spice, but I don't always love the medieval <laughs> aspect. So that's why I didn't like that one as much. But I love Regency and I'm looking forward to reading a lot more from this author. So if you've been looking for uh, historicals that are extra, extra spicy. Uh, I feel like you definitely should pick up Nicola Davidson. I have really enjoyed her as an author. I think she's fun. She does post a lot on Instagram. I believe these are all independently published. I'm pretty sure I don't see them with like Dragon Blade or anything. But yeah, let me know. Have you heard of Miss Davidson? Uh, have you read this book? Have you been looking for spicy extra, extra spicy historical romances. So like, it's almost like if Katie Robert was writing like a Lisa Kleypas storyline. And that's what I've really enjoyed about Miss Davidson's work. So I haven't seen people talk about her. And I was like, people should because she's kind of, she's fun. So I like this story a lot. Like I said, it's, it's very explicit. It does what it's meant to do with being explicit, but just fun time was had by all. <laughs> That sounds terrible. Um, but everyone have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I will see y'all soon with another video. Bye everyone.